What's up, y'all? It's Celeste. I was hoping that I would be able to post the top surgery Q&A um, today, actually for the last couple of weeks. I've been working on it. I've filmed the entire video several times, um, at least three, maybe four. I don't know. I've kind of lost count at this point. It keeps ending up being way too long, and so I'm actually going to be splitting it up into multiple videos, and so I'm working on editing that now. So that is coming, um, but that's why I haven't gotten it done yet. But in the meantime, I wanted to go ahead and make this video because, as I mentioned in my one-year post-op um, video, I have a couple of areas on my left scar, basically like the two ends of my left scar. Um, both have a, both healed a little bit weird. Um, the inside end, like the part in the center of my chest, um, that whole area was really thick. There was a lot of like really thick hard, not hard, but firm, um, scar tissue in that area. And that actually has gone down almost entirely at this point. So that part is actually not that big of a deal. The very, very end of that scar, like the very end of the incision on that end, um, there's this little tiny pucker, just the way that it happened to heal externally. So it's not any kind of internal scar tissue, um, really issue at this point. It's just that little bit. So I don't know if there's even anything that can be done about that. It's so small now. I'm not even really worried about that really anymore. It's actually the other end of my scar on the outside um, where there's just this little tiny dog ear. And it's it's kind of actually the, the outside, maybe like two to three inches of the scar is just, I don't know, it's just slightly overhangs um, from the top, like the top part of the skin that's above the scar kind of overhangs um, the bottom part. So that's the main thing that I want to get fixed. Um, really the very end is the main thing um, just because it it just like sticks out a little bit. So um, I talked to Dr. Garamoni's office. I made my appointment and it's actually going to be next Wednesday. I'm just going to drive down, have it done and drive back um, because it's about three and a half to four hours depending on traffic, um, somewhere between three and four. I think it's going to be a really minor procedure. It's just being done in his office. So um, hopefully it will all go smoothly. And of course, I will come back and tell you all about it. The reason that it's that soon is because I um, also have been having a lot of skin problems on my face um, pretty much since I stopped tea, which is kind of weird. I thought that being on tea would make me have a lot of acne and then being off tea, I would not have as much. Um, it actually hasn't gone that way. I did have a little bit more while I was on tea, but for the most part, it actually kind of leveled out and wasn't like flaring up with my cycle because I didn't have my cycle, but it's actually gotten worse since I stopped tea. So, um, I am going to be going on Accutane. Um, and I actually took my first pill, um, a couple of days ago. And then I was looking at all the information that came with my Accutane and I realized that, um, it can affect the way that the body heals, including scarring, and it can make, it can cause like abnormal scarring, or um, it can make scars be bigger or just more prone to not healing flat. And that's like the entire point of having the revision is to make it look better than it already does. So I didn't really want to be going on Accutane and then having a revision while I was on Accutane. Um, because that wouldn't be good. And then if I go on Accutane for however many months that I'm going to be on it, then you're supposed to be off of it for several more months, like five to six months before you have anything done. So that would mean I would have to wait like a year to have my revision done. And I don't really want to wait that long. So I, like I said, I only had taken one pill. So I just stopped taking that um, and scheduled my revision. I was thankfully able to make it for next week. So getting that done. And then after that heals, then I will go back on Accutane. So at some point, I'm sure I will make a video about Accutane. Um, I'm kind of nervous about it because I know that it has a lot of side effects and I think it's going to dry my skin out and also probably make it worse before it gets better. But I'm really hopeful that it will fix my acne um, in general because it's I, I've never had like really bad acne, but it's very persistent and it's very annoying that now I'm like about to turn 37 and I still have all this acne and it's just really irritating. So I'm hoping that this will fix that, but we will see. So anyway, um, that's my little update about having my revision and eventually starting Accutane and why I haven't posted the top surgery Q&A yet, but I will have more on all of this in the hopefully near future. I don't know exactly when. That's kind of the 
status quo here at this point. Um, I've been so busy. I've gotten way, way, way busier with work and a whole bunch of other activities and interests and hobbies and stuff that I have going on that I'm pursuing, which is great, but it's just like making a lot less time for me to work on videos. But I promise I am still making them. I'm not leaving or anything like that. I just don't have as much time to devote to this specifically, but um, if you want to keep up with all the other stuff that I'm doing, you can follow me on Instagram. I do post there pretty frequently still, but I'm sure I'll be back next week to tell you all about my revision, how that went, and what you can expect if you have a revision done with Dr. Caramoni. Um, I'll try to pay attention to as much as I can, um, but as always, if you have anything in particular you want me to cover in that, um, you can go ahead and let me know in the comments because that way I'll like be thinking about it while I'm having it done. Um, so you can leave those below and uh, if you want to uh, be notified uh, when I post that video, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it in case YouTube decides not to tell anybody that I posted a video because they do that a lot. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.